Hi everyone, Tristan from the CPAPstore.ca here. Bit of a different video today. Um, it's kind of a weird one. You see, for the past few weeks, I'd say three weeks, I've been working on putting together a really in-depth CPAP battery uh, video to give people a good understanding on capacities and run times and what type of performance they can expect out of different CPAP batteries on the market. Now in making this video, I had to figure out the watts that CPAPs were taking as well as how much capacity each CPAP battery was. And most batteries performed pretty closely to the watt hours that they were kind of advertising, all except one. Now it took me a little while to really figure out that like, oh, something looks a little wrong here. But I started noticing that the Freedom CPAP battery was a little bit different than what it showed. You see, it says that it's 99.9 .9 watt hours, but it was completely outperforming some of the competition. Um, this here is the Medistrom battery, and this is 95 watt hours. And as you can see, the Freedom battery is quite a bit larger. So I was trying to figure out how they get so much capacity out of a battery. Um, and also then I was like, okay, why is it larger? Perhaps there's actually more to it than meets the eye. So after weighing them, trying to figure out why it's heavier, larger, and having the same capacity, I kind of came to a somewhat of a conclusion that perhaps they were lying about the watt hours in their battery. So I had an electrical engineer friend of mine come over and to help me open the battery safely. And we did that, as you can see, we sawed it open here. And out came 12 cells. Now each cell of these, after looking at the product number, I found them on the internet, they are about 3.7 volts at 2600 milliamps. So if you multiply that together times 12 different cells here, you get 115 watt hours. That is good and bad. And I just wanted to let everyone know kind of what Freedom is doing um, and kind of make it open to the public. You see, most things when you buy something, if you were to buy 12 dozen eggs and it came with 14, it would just be a bonus and that would be good. But the problem with Freedom battery is that these are advertised as travel size batteries. The FAA regulates batteries that you can take on a plane to 100 watt hours. Um, and so if you're taking a battery above 100 watt hours, you have to seek airline approval first. And I would assume it's somewhat important to get that airline approval if you're taking larger cell batteries on your carry-ons. Um, and so what I kind of suspect is that Freedom realized that in order to get a full one night sleep with a little bit charge left over and not cut it close at all, you would actually have to have um, more watt hours in the battery. What I found in a lot of the battery videos is that most batteries under 100 watts, between like 80, 90, 95 watt hours, uh, they're giving you a single night sleep, but if you have a lot of leaks, you're not gonna get a full night's sleep. It's gonna be cut down to maybe a seven hour runtime. However, Freedom has quite a bit more runtime and that's because they have more watt hours. But the weird thing is, is they lied on their on the back of the battery here and it says 99.9 .9 watt hours so they're just kind of committing a little bit of fraud now the reason why i just want to make this open is that if you do have a freedom battery um, and you get it through security at the airport i've been kind of double checked my luggage before when when bringing batteries like this um, and they might see that you have 12 cells in your battery so generally a lot of these batteries are going to be 3.7 volts or 4.2 volts um, and so they might know that it's higher I don't think they would cause you any concern because you'd be like, oh, the label says 99.9 .9 watt hours and they'd probably be like, oh, okay. But I just thought uh, I would let you know um, if you do have a Freedom battery, you got more bang for your buck in terms of watt hours, but uh, it is mislabeling that. So that's all I got for you today. Please leave a comment and let us know your thoughts. Um, it seems like a lot of these CPAP companies, I don't know, I'm kind of getting sick and tired of some of these companies lying and stuff like that. We got Philips with the Dream Station with their cancer foam. Now you got the Dream Station going on fire. Now you got the Freedom Battery lying about their watt hours. Like, I wish there was a little more truth and transparency in the CPAP industry. I don't know why it's like this. So let us know your thoughts um, and subscribe come to our channel and visit us at the cpapstore.ca if you need CPAP supplies in Canada.